very nervous. I'm very like uh, restless. Only 1% of women make it to where we've made it. Now it's that moment where we go into verdict and whatever happens, happens. small mill town in northern British Columbia. Our family was your typical Punjabi family. We kept to ourselves, but were always up to celebrate an occasion with singing and dancing and eventually drama. The best day of my life was getting married and leaving my family, my hometown, and a dark secret behind. Le liya dil hai mera dil hai dil le kar mujhko na behlana chura liya hai tumne jo dil ko nazar nahi churana Like a Bollywood movie, I married for love. It was a big Indian wedding. The community was so excited. Finally, a wedding in Williams Lake. We left on a horse and carriage, just like the movies. My dad was so happy. Maybe he was thinking, one down and three more to go. politician because she's always moving things over. Jesse, my brother, he thought he was Amita Bachchan, the hero of our family. And of course, my sisters. My wedding was like the ones we imagined as kids. forget when I hugged my dad before I was going to leave the house. He doesn't cry often. It was the first time I saw him cry. <laughs> Those are the songs that we sang when we were kids, and we never thought how much it would emulate our life, the yeah, way it's played out, played out, right? Because in the end, 
who supported each other. It's all three of us sisters. When back I'm, then, right? back then, I cried because of what's happening to the heroes in the movies. Now I'm crying because of what that's happening to me. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I think I was a very rambunctious kid. Uh, I liked to get into trouble because I didn't have any fear. I wasn't afraid of heights. I wasn't afraid to talk and say my piece. I had a lot of problems when I first went to Marie Sharp with bullying. Yeah, they used to have the big, um, with the ropes, oh, and you'd have yeah, to climb yeah. it. That used to be right over there. And then there was also yeah. a tire. And then the tire used to be thing. in that over there. Yeah. You know, it's weird coming back here. I mean, because we came in April, April 24th, 1973, and uh, school starts in September, and I was going to be five that November. But I wouldn't talk. I'm still traumatized from them. I can't even speak English clearly. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's taking a long time for you to get over it, but yeah. you're getting there. Yeah. Yeah. Still, I see a white, white person even now. Uh, my English doesn't come out as if I don't feel comfortable. I guess that flash comes back. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> when I used to walk to the swimming pool, I was all by myself, and these boys, they'd block my path. And then they'd say things like, go home. And I'm just like, go home? I thought home was home. I am going home. We are in my way. And then he's like, oh, you, you know, Hindu. And I remember the tears kind of building up in my eyes and that feeling in your throat, and you're afraid. We put oil in our hair. They make fun of us that we have a greasy hair. They'll say anything. Why you have a thick eyebrow? Why you have this? And, you know, just uh, anything they could find. I Sometimes I would feel bad. Why have to be brown? Why, why can't I be a white person? Okay, Didi, you know Soldier of Love was my favorite, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we can't forget salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Push it. Oh. And nobody knew actually what they were saying. Oh. Push it, push it, push it. Push it. Yep. Yeah. Pop, 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 push it, push it. <laughs> oh, push it. Yeah. Push it real good. Oh, push it. Come on. Push it real good. And then you have to go like this. <laughs> Oh, push it. They gotta do the go back. Well, I don't know if Dad remembers, but I used to practice dancing in the mirror all the time. So then you're dancing, dancing, and then Dad would come around the corner, and then you'd be like, oh, okay, scared. And then you used to say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you're in the middle of dancing, and he'll come around and go, Hey, you got <laughs> My sisters and I, we used to play. Just being imaginative, creative, we used to dance a lot. We used to watch Indian movies, so we'd come home and then we'd pretend we're these Bollywood actresses, and then we'd dance around with our junias on our heads. It was really nice to live in that world where there was so much um, love, glamour. Yeah, that was, that was beautiful. So it's not something we got to see in our Williams Lake world, but we saw it on cinema. It was very inspiring. It, it just kept me imagining that I was dancing in the field, imagining that I was, I was in my living room. But to me, I was in those fields that, they, that they'd be dancing in. Watching movies, I used to think my life is perfect like movies like uh, dancing, song, Hindi. And I felt beautiful watching those actors. As a kid, I think I'm one of them. I actually thought that the burgundy curtains on the side, that's where people kind of moved to behind and they lived over there somewhere. Like, I didn't realize that it's not real. Hi, sona, sona. 
you made it sona. Sona, sona. I also learned the, the submissive part that women do have to bow down to men. Not only was that reinforced in our house as the way my parents lived their lives, you see the woman ask for forgiveness by touching her husband's feet. And the husband moves his feet away, not accepting the woman. You see how she's shamed. When I was a little girl, I couldn't really figure out too much, you know? But as I got older, in my teens, I got it. The bindi would be smudged, the sleeve would be ripped off, and you'd watch the Indian man pull off the lady's sari, and the lady would go tumbling to the side. And then she would really go jump off a cliff. That gets instilled inside you very young. So when bad things happen, what are you doing? Then you are shunned. I was raped at 11 years old. Um, it was a cousin by my cousin, someone my parents trusted. And the day that man came into our house, we were told basically, this is your brother, you respect him, you call him Paji. The abuse was sexual and it was emotional. So there were uh, certain things said so that you stay in your order. Those people thought, uh, you know, because um, uh, we're girls, my dad not going to pay too much attention. They could take advantage as a, of us. <laughs> My dad, you know, and my uncle, they really supported him. And then he told him to keep an eye on me. And we gave him that respect. And he had full authority over us, as he's a male. First I thought it happened to me because, uh, uh, you know, uh, I deserve this. It's whatever the kutta's feeding you, whatever he's feeding you. How much he cares about you, or how pretty you are, or whatever he wants to feed you. It's as if you have something to do with this. And it's this prison that gets formed around you, even though it's not visible to anybody else, but in your mind, you know, there are these bars and there's not one, two, there's like a whole prison around you and you can't escape it, so you have to accept it. And I knew what was happening in the house. I just didn't know what to do about it. You can't go talk to anybody. You know, you can't go tell your sister or your mom or whoever. Bad girls in those times got shipped off. They got shipped off to India. You know, while I'm doing your hair, Kira Didi, hmm. I'm just um, thinking like all this stress that we're going through. And then when I see Mahima and I think about, you know, her being 15 and her age and stuff. It's all this shit that we went through. And, um, you know, you got to think about the bigger picture, protecting your children, protecting other innocent little girls. Well, in the end, it makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you got to break the cycle at one point. Well, look at the cost of breaking the cycle. I couldn't take any step without being reassured that it wouldn't have an adverse effect on my sisters. And that's another thing, actually, that's a big carnage of all of this abuse. Most of the time, you're not even able to have relationship with your own siblings. Because when I wanted to come out earlier, when I told my mom in 1991, 
I couldn't come out by myself because it would have such a big toll on the rest of my sister's future. And I think a lot of the stress has affected my relationship with you growing up because you didn't understand, right? You're six, seven, eight years old. Like, why is Masi so stressed all the time? <laughs> and we're lashing out. I mean, if sometimes you bear the brunt of it, right? If we end up lashing out at you or even Shia, because it's something that's not easy for adults to deal with. And I can only imagine what you go through on the other end as a, as a child. I got married when I was 18. His motivation was coming to Canada too. He told me I wasn't pretty. So I thought my parents gonna, whoever they're gonna find me is gonna be like a movie star, like my dad. It has to be handsome like my dad. Those days, the parents, they, they, they do, you know, they, they select to, to be your match, you know. I was uh, about 17, 17 years old. I was a very shy uh, guy, you know. Kalla kalla pe kende tu mundani, biona meri sore nu kende tu mundani. I was not uh, so excited because I was so young. And then there was uh, nobody to be taken care of the kitchen, so had to be have um, uh, a lady to be do their part, you know. A fair jida me biahu gia fair me soria nuagi fair me ina nu dikhasi fair me dekh ke boot happy si kyo nice sajda si boot suna lagda si. They see all aspects, you know. This girl will be fit uh, in this family and uh, she will be capable to, to be handled. And then there was Record prayer liandi, fir menu saikal te khute lake gaye, khute lake jaake menu sunaya. She had very uh, little chances to be listening music or busy all the time, you know. I told her, come, we listen together. <laughs> The first kid, we were both uh, uh, 18, I think, yes. The first daughter we had. I remember being a, like a, not a happy kid. Didn't uh, remember much about my dad. At nighttime, he used to come and he used to just uh, not talk to me in a nice tone. 
I got scared. And I was kind of person always by my mom. <laughs> and my mom had other responsibility in the house. And my parents were young and I wasn't the priority. So that's how you Happiness brought us to our house was my brother. I was very naive. I didn't know at 12 years old how babies happened or how, um, like, uh, mom goes, I'm going to the hospital. I said, why? And she said, I'm going to go get a baby. And she said, it's because of um, your um, order came. She went to get an order from uh, uh, up to a hospital. And I go, can you tell them you want a baby? I want a baby brother. She goes, I just have to have any baby they give me. And then uh, the phone calls came and my brother was born. You don't realize how your life's going to change. But it went from just us three sisters having a boy in the house. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Are everybody supposed to yeah. see it? No, you do it your way. Oh, OK. Oh, brother. <laughs> yeah, brother. I hope you have a long, long <laughs> life. A happy, happy life. Uh... Sorry, sorry. Good day, basic. So these are Rockies, these are Raksha Bandha that happens once a year where the sisters tie a Rocky on their brother, saying that, you know what, we wish you nothing but the best, the best comes towards you, and then we as brothers say, well, don't worry, we'll protect you. And uh, that's why I always leave them on as long as they last, and yeah, it's a very special day where I get my sisters get to tie this on me once a year. Mom, so to see, can they see Jodhu to see Seva card this in Fetimia? Can they see Tenu Meva Melu? Yeah, Pima Seva card didn't this in Fed, can I tell Seva the Meva Melna? Yeah. Fed, Fed Jadu, seventy six, Jesse, you are. Yeah. Fed Kenya, there is Situ in Nakam Grunzi and not the Gorda Seva card this. Yeah. Tenu Tam Munda, Pimela, get the Seva the Meva. Seva the Meva. I've told that. If Indian don't have a baby boy, they're not completed. When my brother was born, there was happiness in my house. Then at the same time, the trouble was coming in the plane. The day my brother was born is basically when the Jorna landed in Vancouver. Mary Massi Viajibe, Massi di Niani Viajana, Piraki Fisari and the Mugon, the Kariakavia, Duja, Giasari and the Sucia, Sochi family, but Dihoigai, but Dihoigai Sari, Miracle Rendesi, Fed Una Jera Mary Niani and the Tamasi, right? Oh, time a Thaleja, 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 Hon Masara Sochi, the Joby Karia, Matik Nikaria. If I was a person, I would have a lot of my family, and I would have a lot of my husband, and I would have a lot of my family. I would have a lot of my family, and I would have a lot of my family. All of my family had a lot of my family, and I would have a lot of my family. And I would have a lot of my family, and I would have a lot of my family. Don't ever forget, okay? We were small, tiny children who didn't have any exposure to any of this. And biggest advantage he had was he knew we'd keep our mouth shut and not tell anybody, mm -hmm. right? Because you're scared, you're confused. Mm -hmm. And I know I didn't want to get shit for anything from anybody anymore. I didn't want to get disciplined by anybody. Ever since I was really young, we had at least 13, maybe even 16 people living in our house. Everybody was given the license to uh, discipline the younger kids. So it wasn't just your parents who can scold you or reprimand you or even slap you. I think the best way for me to not be overwhelmed by the chaos in our house was to go outside. That's when I started playing sports. In grade six, I started playing soccer. And then I continued playing. In high school, I 
played as many sports as I could because that way I knew I could be out of the house. It was escapism to make sure that I can survive in this sea of people. Do you think you're going to be able to sit through the rest of the proceedings? They're gonna tell some heavy lies, like they're gonna... They're also gonna tell details. Can you handle the real truth details about your sisters and should you even hear them? Well, I want to, but then I don't know. Like, I can't tell you if I'm gonna be st like a strong enough to hear right through. Well, it's hard. It's hear. hard, it's hard. But I just wanted to be with you guys. Like, I know you could sit through and listen to them. You're stronger to hear this. But um, I just wanted to just to be there like five, 10 minutes, just when it's like, I'm, I feel I'm yeah, with my family. I saw my family watching it. Then I, then I like to leave. I thought about telling my dad. And I thought, well, I don't want to get punished for what he did. I didn't know what it was that he had done, but I knew I was going to get in trouble. So I wanted to not get in trouble, so I didn't tell. And then later on, it happened again. I'm not sure it was like a few months, maybe a year later, but it's still when I was 11, maybe. Our nature is, uh, we very helpful to the people, you know, to every way we can. Uh, so we did. All the nephews, nieces, you know, close family, and we treat like a family. I respect him like a brother, right? He came in, he was older than me. My parents said, call him Paji, so I call him Paji. He used to take me to school. We used to play. He'd buy me video games. I looked up to him like, you know, he, he worked out. He was a wrestler. I'm like, you know what? I want to be like him. This could be amazing. And now it's just, it hurts. So you really saw him as your older brother? Definitely. Well, I decided to come out because I witnessed something that basically instantly told me that this person is still active in abusing girls. I saw a picture. Um, my sister Gita showed it to me. And the minute I saw the picture, I became very nauseous. To think, what is this 50-year-old, something-year-old doing with his arm around this girl. It's, it's, it, you just know. And then obviously you have to do something about it. And my sister Kira had said that she's gonna go tell. So at that point I was like, okay, don't worry about me. What happens to me? I'll have to deal with my husband, my family, right? I'll have to face the consequences of all of this. You go do what you need to do. My motive then is the same that my motive is now. I didn't want him to do this horrendous, debilitating, disgusting, perverted act on anybody else. I didn't want anybody to go through what I went through. They wanted to come out. They want to be honest with them. I didn't mind staying hidden. To me, it was a big thing telling everybody, you know, I want to keep myself in, right? My sister went and spoke to the Gutta side of the family, right? And then um, hell broke loose, right? Yeah. I get the phone call from the Gutta's sister. It was a phone call to quash the voice 
Then they were telling them uh, you are a uh, making a story. You know? Yeah, make a story. But uh, it was not that. September 9th, the phone call came. So September 11th, we were in Williams Lake. I drove them down there, and that's when they told my parents and my uncle and aunt and everybody in the family. All of us telling our parents exactly what happened about each and every incident. All of my siblings were there. And so all five of us, start from the youngest till the oldest. And I was in shock. I'm like, what? Yeah, I, I, I couldn't comprehend it. I had nothing to lose. I have no husband. And then my dad was shocked when I told him I was abused too. My dad was visibly upset. He was crying. My uncle was crying. Very, very heartbreaking. It's uh, shattered to me, you know. My aunt had gotten up and left the room before we started discussing. She didn't want any part of it. Everybody wanted my dad to confront him. It was decided that we're going to have a sit down and we'll be able to tell our story and confront him as to what he did. Means my truth. Oh shit, if I didn't have that, I don't think I could have lost in that courtroom. <sighs> There's more to come. There's so much more to come. That's okay. Hopefully, we'll be finished in the next hour or two. By lunch, I hope I'm done. <sighs> I can't say what goes on in the courtroom in my lab. I'm under oath. Okay, now stand really, really straight. Good. Good. Okay, so I think you're right here. Let's check. Okay, move off. Four feet, almost five inches. So that's where we're going to put our sticky note. So right here. Yeah, we'll put it right there. My dad was a disciplinary coming from the Indian culture, and I wasn't supposed to look up at him in his eyes and say how I feel. I was always told, put your head down. Don't look at me in the eyes. The arrow there from the last time. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is in the corner, I'm going to write how old you are. So you are eight and how many months? Eight years. Oh. And April, May, June, July, August, September, October, mm -hmm. six months. Eight years and six months. So eight and a half. Oh my God, you're eight and a half. Look at that. My older sister, Lakshna, she used to comb my hair. She used to bathe me and my sister, Kira. Kira was two around that time. And um, she used to take care of us. She actually used to even feed us because my mom was working and stuff. Right? 
ਫਿਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਫਿਕਰ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਰਾਈ ਤੇ ਘਰ ਨਿਆਣੇ ਕੱਲਿਆ as indian girls we couldn't put it i couldn't put it together even though it's happening to me i couldn't put it together until i think i was in about grade 9 and i started kind of understanding and then by then it's too late you're trying to process this as you can treat it as to whatever he feels what he's saying is it is right um but you don't even realize you're being victimized or you have been it would happen at night right or right before before in the morning early hours before everybody else got up it was something that occurred daily and i had no idea what this person had done i had no idea i just remember you know getting back into bed and just falling asleep you're in shock you get up the next day you don't know what's happened to you then it happens again and then it happens again and this whole grooming process makes it so normal and it makes it a part of your routine there's a routine to this so then it becomes ingrained inside you it becomes a part of the pathway to your brain this is what you are supposed to do you are supposed to brush your teeth this is going to happen to you it'll take a few minutes then you go on comb your hair get your clothes on pick up your backpack and go to school when i was sleeping and i realized that somebody's hand was inside my my underwear and their finger was curled inside my vagina and when i woke up i kind of must have shifted and it came out and saying something in my ear to the fact that oh ah the coiny mea like it's okay don't worry it's me right and i just kind of i was scared and shocked with the hell but why is this person it's the gutta why why is he there beside me in my bed and i rolled over and uh, away from him and i put my arms underneath me and i just uh went to sleep Back then, up to 1983, the age of consent was 14. So once you turn 14, it's considered consensual. At some point, you're not 12, you're not 13. You're 18, 19, you're 20. Why didn't you do anything then? what people fail to realize is how this process first starts it starts from when you're a young child my parents didn't suggest and never supported us going to the police that was a step that we had to take on our own in our culture is very very serious you know it's uh uh you know very hard to uh, take it very hard to bear you know like and my culture uh, my culture uh, yeah. not to believe it right i knew he he would deny right he's going to deny and blame it on the girls you know it's always in the indian culture it's like it's always the girls fault if something like this happens it's the girls fault kudiyan nu asi phe aa ta gall kahi han ji ya is vich tusi pehla sanu gall kardiyan oh ni ਦਰਦੀਆਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦਰਦੀਆਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਜੇ ਵੀ ਹੈਸੀ
ਆਵਰ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਸੋ ਸ਼ੌਕਡ ਡਰਦੀਆਂ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਡਰਦੀਆਂ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਕੀ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਇਦਾਂ ਪਈ ਇਦਾਂ ਆ ਬਾਹਰ ਕੋਈ ਮੁੰਡਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਸੰਦ ਕਰਨਾ ਮੁੰਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨੀਆਂ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਕਰਨੀਆਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਨਾਲ ਬਾਹਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕੂਲ ਲੈ ਗਿਆ ਨੂੰ ਬਾਹਰ ਖੜਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਜੇ ਬਾਹਰ ਖੇਲਦੇ ਆ ਨੂੰ ਮੁੰਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਮੁੰਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨੀ ਉਹ ਹੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਡਾ ਡਰ ਬੈਠਾ ਆ ਜੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੰਮੀ ਡੈਡੀ ਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਇਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਕਰੂਗੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਕਰੂਗੇ ਕਿਉਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਕਲਚਰ ਚ ਕੁੜੀ ਨੂੰ ਹੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਗੁਰੂਜ ਨੂੰ ਹੀ ਆ ਸੇ ਜੂ ਆ ਰੋਂਗ ਜੂ ਆ ਰੋਂਗ ਜੂ ਆ ਰੋਂਗ ਓ ਇਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਡੋਨਟ ਲੈਟ ਇਟ ਗੈਟ ਆਊਟ ਦ ਹਾਊਸ ਰਾਈਟ ਡੋਨਟ ਲੈਟ ਐਨੀਵਨ ਐਲਸ ਨੋ ਐਂਡ ਹਸ਼ ਹਸ਼ ਪ੍ਰਟੈਂਡ ਇਟ ਨੇਵਰ ਹੈਪਨ ਜਸਟ ਮੂਵ ਪਾਸਟ ਇਟ ਇਟਸ ਓਵਰ ਇਟਸ ਡਨ ਵਿਦ ਅਸੀਂ ਫੇ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਤੋਂ ਡਰਦੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਡਰਦੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਚੁੱਪ ਕਰ ਗਏ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਚੁੱਕੇ After I hung up the phone, I was in my living room. I was a mess. I was crying. I was bawling. Um and it just so happened like a friend of mine called. She came over. And then my older sister called and she came over cuz they heard me and it's not like me to be in that form. And um my world shattered. My world went upside down and my husband walked through the door and I told him, "Honey, I have something to tell you." And I told him Before me coming out, um the biggest fear is well, my husband, the love of my life. How's he going to deal with this, right? And just the circumstances that were around my husband and my marriage. I wasn't a traditional woman. His family wanted a traditional woman. They already had bad thoughts about me just from my appearance and not following the traditional norm, right? So my husband had to make a choice. Do I marry this girl or do I leave my family? In the end, he left his family. So when someone's done that for you, when someone loves you that much and you have something that you've withheld, couldn't look me in the eye and as a victim coming out oh my god that's not what you need First night of my wedding, I didn't sleep. To him, it was important to have a virgin um, wife. 
I wasn't virgin because I was abused in my dad's home. That's the first thing he wants to do is to check if I bled the bed or not. And then um, he told my mom that he disappointed at me because uh, I'm not virgin. Then I told mom, why do I have to sleep with this guy if I don't even like him, he doesn't like me? And I go, I feel like I'm getting raped over and over. Slowly, slowly, things got worse. I didn't sleep with him, so he told my grandpa that I don't sleep with him. And then my grandpa, they were there. They sent me a game, and I did. That's when my daughter happened. It's a numbers game. What's number gaming? It means... <sighs> so when I sell houses, uh -huh. you have to go door knock. Uh -huh. So I door knock on 20 doors. Uh -huh. One person might yell at me, it's okay. Uh -huh. But one person might answer the door and be like, oh yeah, come on in. So you just have to keep... Oh, be the right one. Yeah. Okay. You have to date 100 times, then you find one person. Yes. No pressure, whenever you can, get find somebody the right one. Even you're 40. Oh no, go. If I am single at 35, uh -huh. then I'm gonna have to go in an arranged marriage. Really? You gonna go to India? <laughs> <laughs> you go. Master are gonna go. Oh, range. No, I'm joking, but I will be really devastated if at 35 I'm still single. You can get an arranged marriage here. You don't have to go to India to get arranged marriage. You know they do that here, right? They have like matrimonial stuff. Oh, yeah. Kind of stuff. yeah. So you're right in that age. So I have category. four years, mom. Yeah. Yeah. So when you first got married, you uh -huh. got your arranged marriage uh -huh. when you were like 19 or uh -huh. however old you were, 18. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did you ever think that you'd be in a day and age, you'd be comfortable talking about that one day, I'm gonna be dating? No, I never thought. First, I never thought I could. Hey, let's ask you this, have you ever dated? No. Yes. I have, but they were just a uh, lie one. flowers. They, oh, that was, <laughs> so there was a minor attempt at dating. Yes. I, I, yeah, it's just the guy, that guy said he's medium belt, he wasn't. He was a <laughs> soccer ball or whatever. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know what? I want you to have a family. I would, I would love to be a grandma. Are you ready to take care of the kids? I never felt like when my daughter was born, I'm a mother, because I was in denial. I pretend I wasn't even pregnant. Because my mom has been through so much, I feel like she wasn't able to be the best mom. So my aunt is more of my mom. <laughs> I never understood why she had so much anger inside, but it makes sense now. Should I take this? I'm already stressed. I think I've, I've yeah. already worn it, but yeah. Does it matter? It doesn't matter. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you know how many times the packing, unpacking, unpacking? Yeah. I don't know why this time. It's I'm really pissed off and stressed and all of that other stuff that comes along with it. Well, I think it's a little different because before we had to have the extra anxiety that we had to go on the stand. And uh, now it's just, there's no patience left. I think that's where the irritation and the annoyance and the pissed off is coming from. Yeah, but it's the end now. Yeah, Like it it's is. the end, you wouldn't think like now we would, I would, I would be feeling upset and angry and all that stuff. You think like, it's the tail end. Hopefully these are the last three weeks. I'll take this. 
I don't have enough clothes for three weeks. It's I'm in crisis mode. <laughs> I don't have enough clothes, and I don't want to buy some in Williams Lake because it's Williams Lake. I don't want to buy Williams Lake clothes. It'll be like old times. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even have a cellar there anymore. Ready. Hi, Mom. Hi, Puttu. Yes, I see Torpea. Oh, good luck. I'm calling you good luck. Good luck. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mom. Yeah, I drive car. I see drive car. Oh, I see drive car. Thank you for the money, Mom. Oh, welcome, welcome. Good luck to my pay for the only one. Ah, no, no, thank you, Mom. Yeah, you Okay, you don't have to give me money. Okay, I love you. 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 I'm okay. How was your day? It was okay. Uh -huh. That's okay. Could be. I miss you. I don't want to be going back to those old memories. That's okay. It's going to be all over. But it's not easy. I just want you to know that I miss you and I miss my kids. Well, your kids are safe. Your kids really miss you too. They miss you. <laughs> Kina's holding me right now. <laughs> Anything can tip you off. It could be a memory, it could be a smell, it could be a flash, it could be a face. And when you're young, your body is natural defense is just to repress it and not think about it. When you're willing to think about it, then you actually have to do something about it. Get therapy, talk to the police, tell your family, uh, and then the reaction you get from your family as well, it impacts you. It impacts your decisions to have kids. What's cooking? Did you make sure you don't put mech in mind? This one's yours. I'm mortified that I'm going to bring a child into this world and either the partner that I choose will harm them in some way or maybe it could be some other person in my own family. I chose not to have any children. Uh, I choose not to have any partner in my life because I find it very difficult when I am with them. I am second guessing pretty much everything that they say to me. I find it really hard to trust people. Okay, take your bunker down. Even being able to have a sexual relationship physically, it's sometimes impossible just because of the way your body reacts. When you get assaulted sexually, and then you have to use the same sexual organs for your pleasure, it's, it's not easy, right? Because every time you're having sex, you're being reminded of sexual assault. So you have to figure out, okay, how, how do I, how do I get, get to a point where it's okay and I'm safe? Okay. Yeah. For each dividend, determine the value of K if the remainder is three plus You're just doing it in your head? I'm writing the question down. Oh, okay. So it says a pattern starts at 75 uh -huh. and decreases by 10 each okay, time. 
Write the, the first six like numbers in the pa animal? in this pattern. My dad was never happy with my report cards because I have nobody to help me. And then how can you function at school when you're going through all this stuff? You can do it. Four, 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 sixteen. Like divide twenty-four divided by four? Just do the pattern. Twenty-four okay. minus four, which okay. is Okay. Okay. Pattern. Okay. The what? Four, four, eight, eight, twelve. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm doing this how they did it here. So go write down 24 minus 4 oh. is now 20. Minus 4 is 16. There you go. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, okay. So he thought he's going to marry me anyways. It, it, school wasn't important. So I just didn't try hard either. I go, okay, I just pass with C minus. Why do it? And I wish I, wish I was smart, like uh, I, I, in, I, like, could do a better job. Who doesn't want to, right? Okay, good job. Keep going. Now four, then shall help me, then what? <laughs> Mom, 16, focus. Okay, 16. You don't even know how to do homework? I use calculator. <laughs> calculator. <laughs> it made sense to me why my mom is the way she is. And it kind of seems like she got stuck in that state, that young state where she didn't really grow up. Because I'm thinking, isn't she supposed to be the adult? Why am I sitting here dealing with her emotions, right? I knew it's end of me. I'm never gonna find a love from a man. Starving from my parents' love, then not having a man's love. And then I thought I deserved that. Like I don't deserve uh, love in this life from a man. He left me and that's the best thing he could ever did is left me. My dad said, why don't you give your daughter to him too? And I told my dad, if she was a boy, I would give it to him because she's a girl. I have to, I have to keep her. I want you to know that there's nothing ever in your life that you need to be afraid of. There's no system, no person, okay, that you can't stand up against. If anything ever were, you know, remotely, minusculely ever happen, let me know. Please trust me and me. I will believe you. Don't be scared. You're going to hear things in there that you've never heard before, okay? They might upset you. You might not even understand what's going on and that's <laughs> perfectly okay, but guess what? This is a very important moment for me and Masias, okay? And like we've stood up, I do hope, you know, this moment will help you realize that you guys can stand up. Um. This goes for you too, okay? Oh, trust me, I've learned a lot from you guys. You just be you, okay? I'd probably still be an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm, for sure. <laughs> I've learned a lot from you, you guys. You, you know that. You're, you're my daughter too. I know. <laughs> I know. You've just experienced more of me than those two over there. And I, I hope seeing us strong, right? Oh, for sure. Seeing your mussy. That's why I'm so stubborn. <laughs> See, seeing your mom, yeah. you know, stand up in whichever shape or form we could, yeah. right? This is for you girls. It shows to like never give up and like go for what you believe in. Yeah, you go and you will persevere, right? It may take a long time, but you do it step by step and you persevere.
we're daughters. We're not wanted anyways. Since we were little girls, he made us feel that we're not wanted through punishment, through him not giving us love, through the way he spoke to us, like in every single way. Mom said my dad didn't even come home for three weeks when I was born. He just stayed at the farm when he learned he had a daughter. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. Welcome. Everything's good. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Jesse Watson? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mom, Yeah. That's good. Yeah, thank you. Very nice. Good tea. Thank you, Jesse. To our job in Thank Namco. you. Yeah. Jithe dusi ke nayau jitta main kar sakdiya support main kar diya. I think mere liye eh hai bada ya question pe. Um, you know, dusi you don't ask me. Dad doesn't ask. You know, um, even you know, like brother. Um, then nu kadi sport chahi diya. Then nu ki sport chahi diya. right 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 ਤੁਹਾਡੇ Okay, I'm glad you okay, wait, I, I'm glad you brought that up. Mm. Did you ever sit him down and tell and him and say, You touch my daughters even once, I'm gonna uh, wait till you see what I do to you. I'm gonna cut your balls off, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Did you sit down and ever say that to him? So you're telling me ten year old, eleven year old, twelve year old girls should be worried about somebody who was in your house and that they were sitting beside them and you 
were scared. So why didn't you sit him down oh, and say to him? Well, obviously it was something. Oh, name either Madaleva, to see Sanu Madalech accused Cardiave, Twadak, we fault me. Joe Peters Laja and Dedida, Mamida, Twadiavi Jimmy Varia you are responsible too. As a ten year old sleeping in my own bed. No, 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 ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਚ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਚੱਲਿਆ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸਾਡੀਆਂ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਲਿਮਿਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਕੋ ਮਜਬੂਰੀਆਂ ਸਾਡੀਆਂ ਵੀ ਆ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਹੁਣ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਆ ਵੀ ਹੁਣ ਮੈਂ ਵਾਇਲੈਂਟ ਹੋ ਜਾ ਮਾ ਜਾ ਮੈਂ ਆ ਕਰਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਆ ਕਰਾਂ ਉਰੂ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿ ਸਕਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਵੀ ਮੇਤੋਂ ਹੋ ਸਕਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਕਿਹਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਕਿਹਾ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਟੋਲਡ ਹਿਮ ਇਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਠੀਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ that's, that's, well, that's what I want to clarify. When you know that safe, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 Onu Batake, Onu Kana, Jeda to Sade Nyanyana Kita, wrong see. Okay, let me finish. Jedo to see Koshni Kende, to see your action who condone Kadnea. To see Apra Mu Bandrake, to see Onu Kanea, Jeda to Kita, Tikita. I need your help. Chaida Thanu, Midi help Karo. You didn't help me, Mom. I was wild and free. I used to jump from sofa to sofa, and I just wanted to do whatever I wanted to do. I used to go run outside. If I wanted to dance to a song, I would dance to a song. And my dad didn't want that, and he wanted to rein it, so he made sure he broke me. And in every method that he could find, he domesticated me from that wild horse to a horse that had to wear, you know, a saddle and uh, the bridle so I could be led around. that we're getting to the end of this journey. Yeah. Finally. <sighs> Don't feel bad. I just feel sad. I know, it's Christmas. We're away from them and... I know. People over there having a Christmas parties. We're <laughs> here <laughs> for court. <laughs> You know? Yeah. You can dress up tomorrow. <laughs> Pretend you're going to your Christmas party. I wonder if they'll make you remove a Santa Claus hat if you were to court. I'm sure they probably they would. They probably would, not? Yeah. I thought about that. I was going to bring the Santa Claus hat, and then I was like, probably yeah. make us take it off or something. Uh-huh. 
I love to dance. I feel this heightened elation. And you just go into that zone and feel that pleasure and joy of life, essence of life. And it's like therapy. That's how we got through our childhood. We had each other and we had joy and happiness and we had reenacted movies and we played together and we stuck together even now. That's how it is. I cannot, I can't do any better. But what more do I have to do to no, have nothing. your love? No, no, nothing. All these hundreds of times we've gone back and forth to the court case. Oh, girls, how did it go? He's never, he's never, That's okay. he never even comes up and gives you a hug. You walk into the house, you might get a hug from him. I sure don't. I don't either. I don't even get a hello. No, our cultures, Monday I'm jolly cardia. How be my Anya, Daddy, down Jassy, the Dwale, Kadna, Idamia, Odi, Odi and Galade Proudia, Mere Munde, the Apura Hogia, Gola Pura Hogia. You know, Namagal Cardia is hack up, and he's not dad. It's a double standard. Munda walks in, he's like a goddess. You know, he up, Jassy, now we are on the because we're girls. Okay. You can't blame it all on him. Can I ask you something? When you walk in the door, does he look at you in the eye? When he walks, when you walk in the door? He's in the computer room. Okay, but when you go towards him, does he look like this and like look away from you? No, he looks at you in the eye. He can't, he doesn't look at us in the eyes. He doesn't even look at us in the eyes. Come on. Jesse, you don't see it because it's not done to you. I think it's a, I think you have to admit because of what happened I'm asking you to admit because of what happened to us you feel ashamed yeah he does. so when you see us you yeah Punjabi, especially Punjabi culture, which, oh, they which bandami hundia, shame hundia, right? Jido thwade feeling ya pe ehe jeda hoya ya shame ya thano apna what is it called? Chulli me pani me doob jao. Fir tosi jido sanu dekne ya thano oh masus hunda. Thwade under shame trigger hundia jido tosi sanu dekhe ya. Like what is it? No. No, it's shame. 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 It's I will tell you. No, listen, mom was saying to you she supported as much as me, and you're saying, no, that's not the support I got. Well, you didn't tell her. She has I, to know. I told her what I wanted she from has her. To know. I told her in, in, in 1991. And guess what? She shut me down. You know what she said to me? She's like, you know you said that to me. Which means, shut your mouth. I want to make sure that the rest of my daughters get married off. And this one still had to get married. It was two decades ago. You're saying you need a certain report, so support? You didn't tell me what kind of support. When you, you think... when you came to me, I would like, I remember I asked you for details. You said, Jesse, you don't want to know details. Well, then I backed off. I said, fine. When you you're don't ready want to know to, the details when, of the no, crime. But when you're ready to tell me or support you, I was there. I said, okay, what do you need help with? Be it picking up Shia or mom helping a Shia or anybody. We supported you that way so you guys, girls, can continue on this journey. I'm a rape victim. Right? Dasa salana, gyara salando. Mere bed de vich aake koi edda minu karda. Right? Utochi, thwadi van de vich minu ne rape kita. Right? Horn me aake enna ganta sonke aya. Te mera pe minu kenda. Ja, mere karuja. Thanupat andro thwada kida filunda. Thanupata. Jigger thought I kept the janda. Thonupata, Jedevich to see coal on the other, Unanukene. But 
but men make me feel safe. Right? To see men no sikar sikar karo. To see men no galave vich pao. Right? Tanu pata ki do andro hunda ya jo do eta hunda. I'm so sorry. ते तुसी ये सोचो एक साल की काते लगा डिप्रेशन जो निकलने काते लगा। I am so sorry, so sorry मैं कोई से नहीं कर सकी। फिर तुसी मैंने कहने सपोर्ट दी थी कि दां जिदां सपोर्ट दिनी है उन उदां ने सपोर्ट दी थी पर थोड़ा डावी बाँधा या तुसी अपने नियाने नू होर ना डैमेज करो तुसी अपने नियाने नू होर ना खाई करो तुसी अप Danger the which pow emotionally mom to the in the emotionally menu the now understand kita menu now to see like me you know under a banda thunu haak maar da thunu kenda ya help kar me help kar right to see ud help to bina to see onu push kar the name you push him over the cliff It's emotional support oh, that we so need. Nale, jadi emotional support hundiya, poch ke ni hundi. Emotional support hundiya, nyal back it, and you don't have to say anything. You just hold the person, and it just comes naturally. And you don't have to know the details. Thano pata, have to ni pata be kiu hai ni ane nu thano andro hi pata be ek kosh hoya wrong hoya kina wrong hoya. And you don't have to beg for emotional support. It right. just comes, it flows authentically, and if it comes, it comes. And in our case, it doesn't yeah. come. I'm so sorry, so sorry. My hands, I'm in my house, I have all my eyes, I have all my eyes, I have no respect, I have no courage, I have no courage. इतना नहीं तो सी मेरे अल्लू देखने भी नहीं ते उत्तो चीज़ जिन्हों मैं ओनी या सपोर्ट ले तो सी यू मेक इट इवन वर्स फॉर मी एंड यू मेक इट हार्ड फॉर मी आई वाज ड्राउनिंग आई वाज ड्राउनिंग एंड आई वाज पुटिंग आउट माय हैंड सो माय माम एंड डैड कूड ग्रैब इट एंड यू डिड इट यू पुश मी डाउन इ Everything else in life was really disheartening, scary. But when we were together, right, it was beautiful.
ਭਾਵੇਂ ਸਾਰੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਚ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਵੇਖ ਲਓ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਮੁਕਾਬਲਾ ਕਰਾ ਕੇ ਵੇਖ ਲਓ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਸਾਰੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਚ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਵੇਖ ਲਓ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਮੁਕਾਬਲਾ ਕਰਾ ਕੇ ਵੇਖ ਲਓ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਜੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਝੂਠ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਅਰਸ਼ਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਪਰੀਆਂ ਬੁਲਾ ਕੇ ਵੇਖ ਲਓ ਸਾਵਾ ਸੱਚ ਰੱਬ ਦੇ ਦੁਆਰਾ ਵਰਗਾ ਰੂਪ ਕਿਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਮੁੱਟੇ ਆਰਾਂ ਵਰਗਾ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਪੈਰ ਤਰ ਦਿੰਦੀਆਂ 